Hello, this is Ashwarya and today I'm going to take you through a platform where we can develop 3D animations and 3D games, which is HatchXR. And of course, we have a platform in which we can ask our kids to perform the 3D uh, animations and 3D games too, which is HatchXR Kids. So we are going to create a project on HatchXR Kids today in which we are going to have a very simple design of having an environment a very simple environment with having a ball uh, in on the screen that can be moved upwards using clicking on an object or clicking on an image or let's say a button so before we will actually start coding or creating the project design we'll be starting by introducing ourselves to the platform which is hatch kits so now for introducing ourselves to hatch kits platform i would like to open uh, this hatch xr tab on my phone on my laptop and this is how the hatch kits platform look like i want to go to the home so i'll just go to towards uh, the gallery and here you can see in the gallery there are a lot of projects created by a lot of people but because i want you to introduce you to the platform i will go to the new project and when you open the new project it gives you few default themes that you can use as a design to your project which you want to create so uh, let's say i would just take an empty project just to let you know of uh, what the environment of hatch kits look like so i just would want to show you that and uh, as you can see that as and when we open kids hatch xr we can see that it opens up in the code area so there are three sections of the hatch xr platform one is design one is code one is play and the uh, the area where it says code that that section is uh, divided into two parts one is a preview part which is this part of the screen where you can actually preview your changes uh, after you, you are coding for it and on the left side is the editor is the code editor where you put your coding and your instructions for your uh, game or animation to follow so that is about the code section now if we go to the design section we will explore all the possible elements that we can put on to the uh, design of our environment to create a very simple to a very huge design so talking about that we when we open the hatch kids platform or even the hatch xr platform the default template for an empty project uh, takes us to this where there is a sphere there is a cube and there is a cylinder on the screen when you want to create something new you got to delete all of this by selecting on it and just pressing delete key from your keyboard you can do that and delete all the uh, default shapes that comes on your screen and then you get a choice of a blank environment and you get a choice of selecting whatever you want to have in your environment which comes from so there is this plus sign which says add 3d objects where you can go and when you go to this you get an option for selecting basic objects 3d models environments text lights multimedia and player avatar so in the very basic object or in the very basic project that we're going to create in today we are not going to use a lot or each and every element of uh, this addition element part but there is a part 3d models which is going to get used i suppose and i believe in almost every project that you create in hatch xr or hatch kits so in 3d models basically you can find out models or you can find out 3d models for almost everything possible which can be a ball which can be uh, a castle which can be a human which can be a football or anything that you might think of so that is what the 3d models element is about now uh, then we have environments where if we click we'll get few uh, okay so i think my screen is getting hacked but let me introduce it to you verbally that when you go to environments you will get an option to select an environment 
with some default templates and also an option to create your own environment by adding basic objects to it or by adding basic environment elements to it so that can be your way now uh, then there's a text place where uh, you'll be able to create objects with text written on it or some objects where text will be written like suppose you create a game that requires to display the score then you will be able to use text to just display the score on it then there is lights where you control the lights on your environment uh, so there are going to be different types of lights elements in your uh, hatch kits platform or hatch xr uh, which can be ambient distant or even there are a lot many you you might explore them when you go to them like let's see i go to lights and you see ambient directional hemisphere point spot so you may select any of them and i think similar way you can go to multimedia and in multimedia it allows you to upload a picture or a video or an audio even of your own choice to your project to make it look more live to make it look more uh, realistic so that's about multimedia and then comes player of tar where you can actually select a player an animated 3d player for your game as a character in your game uh, like you know to give it a realistic look or to develop something like if you try to develop something like a clone of subway of a game then you might need a player a robot which will move on towards to collect your coins so that robot can be selected from a player of that directly and also you can do that although from the 3d models but rather you can do it from the player of that and it will be the player the character of your game so yeah <clears throat> that is basic uh, introduction about the hatch 